Hi, we're going now to use Gaussian to prepare inputs for Gaussian with the counterpoise correction. We have our builder and we put two generic fragments, let's say one and two methane molecules. Then we go here in Gaussian menu edit. We have to check these atom groups. Here we can define here we can define different fragments that we want to define uh, that we want to compute counterpoise correction between. So we go back into the builder and we use selector. We can select atoms by just clicking on them if it's simple, or we can just select an area. We use this last one, and we can select, for example, the first molecule that we created go back here and now of this we will select out these atoms from the fragment one so we will just press here and make a click on the minus sign okay now this way we created two fragments each of them we made of uh, five atoms so each of them is uh, one methane and they are uh, char all of the charge zero and they are all singlets. So we can press OK here and then we're going to calculate and Gaussian calculation setup and it could be any kind of uh, job type that you may want and in the general tab we click on use counterpoise. Here we got now the, the keyword so we can retain this and save the input file. For example, let's call it test cp as counterpoise. Save this and we can see it. Here is our input file. So we have our method. It could be also any other method or an optimization, whatever. And we have the counterpoise equal to keyword we can see that we have uh, charge and multiplicity for the overall complex and for the two separate fragments and most of all we have fragment label attached to to the different atoms of the complex so we have fragment 2 and fragment 1 defined and in this way we have we are ready now for a, to launch a counterpose uh, calculation